Welcome back to the first update for Chibi Usa. That's what I'm gonna be calling her. Creating her in the Sailor Scout uniform to match all the other Sailor Scouts I created months ago. She pretty much has like the same pattern as all the other Sailor Scouts regarding the outfit, the boots. I'm using Hot Rose, which I then invisible single crochet to white for the white outline. And then I did back loop only for the skin, which goes up to the panties right here. This is the skirt in Hot Rose. Change that to white. And the rest is all skin. I gave her rounded corner eyes with a red iris. I am debating on whether I should keep this red eye or not or if I should switch it out to white because if you know anything about me and red eyes, I think it makes the doll look kind of mean. Okay, so I'm back with the next update. First, add it on her collar. This is what it looks like. I'm using hot rose and then I sewed it on all the way around with white, pinned it down, glued it down in place. I attached on this middle of the shirt, which is all white and have to be crocheted around. And I made sure to place it on first on the back side so that way the bow right here, this red, fire red bow could cover on the back side. In the back on the front, we have another fire red bow with her brooch being hot rose for the center. And this is what she looks like so far. I gave her two ears because her ears show in this one. So I decided to shorten the hair cap and give her four inner rounds, three outer rounds, and then this little two tiny triangles on the back side because she has like little strands that poke out from the back and she's also going to be having some crazy pigtails going on so i can't wait to make that soon and these are the arms which they're just all white and then color change to hot rose and then skin again and that's what it looks like very simple nice sailor scout outfit i really like how it looks she's gonna blend in pretty well with all the other sailor scouts i think be back with the next update Hi guys, welcome back to another update on the hair. So I am currently on the front part. Right here are the bangs, which I'm using curl strands right here. I'm using three on this side, which are flipped backwards, and then three on this side. And these are little slip stitch strands because she has like these little really thin curls right in front of her ear. So I put it right here on top of the ear and they're like curled outwards. And these are the little dango. That's what I'm gonna call it. They're like shaped of a cone. And I try my best to shape them, but this is like what I'm using right now. So they point, they're like pretty pointy, triangular shaped dongles. I have yet to sew this on. I left a little tail that way I can sew them on. And right here for the side of her hair, I've been trying to figure out how to create this part. Some people use like curly pigtails, but I was like, I really wanted like that 3D shape. So I'm still kind of playing with this, but I'll probably settle on this shape. Hopefully it creates this little curved downward shape and I'll be doing on the other side too. So I'm gonna keep it simple and create her hair like that. Hi guys, welcome back to another update on the hair. So this is how I decided to complete Shibi Usa. And for the pigtails, I decided to do it a little bit differently. Again, I had to rearrange the hair strands. I ended up curling this part a little bit. I bent the little tip to go inwards so that way it can create more like volume for her hair. Even though it looks nothing like the original, you know, but I needed something to give it volume and I didn't really want to crochet like an entire bulky piece like how I did for the dango right here. I don't know. I couldn't figure out a better way to do it. So this is my version of Chibi Usa. I think it's pretty simple. Apart from that, I gave details of the dongo. This is the little red dot right here. And then I glued on the white outline on top of that. I created two of those. And then for the top part of the detailed thing on top of the red dot, this right here is a four chain, which I use black lace yarn. And I sewed the black lace yarn directly in the middle of each of the four chain strands. And I glued on the four chain strands on each of the dongo. Hopefully I'm saying this right. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. And these are the little hair clip pieces, which I created six of them. And I glued three on each side right there. Here's what it looks like on the back side. And I think I did a pretty decent job. Doesn't look too bad on the back. And hopefully I explain about the gold tiara, but I also added that in the middle as well, right below the hair strands. Oh yeah, and I also changed out her eye, her red eye. Now it's white. So I gave her the generic eyes and I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so one final, final update on Chibi Usa. This is how I decided to do her hair. I had to completely remove off the pigtails from earlier. I had to take my exacto knife and then like cut it all off. Um, didn't go exactly as planned. And I really hated the first attempt that I, did, that I created on her hair. So I had to go back. It's been a few days and this is what I came up with. So these are like two curled up strands that I simply place on the side of her ears and then it shapes perfectly the way I want it to. So should have done this earlier. It's actually really, really simple to do and I think it gives off the shape really well and pretty accurately close enough to the reference photo. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I simply glued on 
right here like this. So this is one side and I create the same strand and I flipped it over. Then I glued it on the other side like this. And that's about it. You don't have to do anything much. You don't have to create any like curly hair or anything like that for the side. And it gives you this nice volume without being too bulky on the hair. So here's what it looks like on the back side. There you have it. Really happy with how this one turned out. Okay, so I'm back with the first update for Tuxedo Mask. Very, very plain body so far. And the color changing is very simple. Starting off with his shoes right here, it's completely black. Then I'm switching up to a different shade of black, which is dark charcoal. And then I'm moving up to here is plain white. Since he does have like an inner white shirt when he's wearing the tuxedo. And here is the bald head. The eyes, I gave him cornered eyes. And the eye color is clear blue by Impeccable. And that's what I look <laughs> and that's what that looks like. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. So I created this outer layer jacket for him and I also attached on his arms. And along inside of the jacket, I also went ahead and sewed on using black lace the little details that's on the wet part of the shirt. And I also created this little simple tiny bow which in is in white although you probably can't tell because unless you look to the side right here you can tell there's a bow right there but otherwise it's not too noticeable but i'm leaving that there anyways because he does have a bow and along the jacket i have three knots i'm using the yarn honey by yarn bees and i have six knots total on this jacket right here so three on each side at the very bottom to create like the golden buttons and this is what it looks like along the back side and i also gave him the hair cap black hair four inner rounds and three outer rounds he also has a couple ears right here i'm currently working on his cape so here is what the cape looks like this is the outer layer the back side and here is what it looks like when it's going to be on the back side right here at the top part i have these two little flaps which are going to go over the shoulder and right where that part is there is a little knot sewed on right here in honey and here is another one on the other side as well so i sewed that on and then this is supposed to be the red that's for the inner side of the cape i'm gonna just go ahead and take fabric glue and glue this one directly on top and then simply attach it to the doll like this while gluing this part over the shoulder so that way it can like stay in place and then hopefully the front side you can see red while on the back side you see the darker shade of black of the cape so that's how i'm doing it i think i did a pretty good job at choosing to do multiple shades of black rather than making it all like salt solid black color because like the shoes are a little bit darker than the outfit and the hair is also darker than the outfit so that's what i'm doing hi guys welcome back to another update on tuxedo mask so i'm starting off with his hair right here this one chain right here is a 12 chain which i had to bend this way so that way you can like tell there's like a split on between the bangs and then i'm currently filling up the rest of his hair with eight chains so far it's just across the top and i will be going all the way around and down and this is the update so far welcome back to the final update so here it is completely done i have some hair strands poking up right here it's a little bit too high and as i said before i was filling up the rest of this with eight chains all around there you have it bunch of eight chains on the back side the bottom part is a little bit lower and then here's what it looks like on the other side and the top part is all of filled up with eight chains and then i only have like a few strands poking out on the side like this one right here I got these three top strands that are poking up like that, which will get covered up by his hat anyway, so no big deal there. And here is the mask that I made. <laughs> Not the most prettiest looking mask. It gets the job done, so. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. I gave it ear loops as well, sew that on, so that way it fits on the ear and I don't have to use a pin to place it down and there you have it the complete look of tuxedo mask i'm not sure if i mentioned before but the mask i used white yarn and i had to create two separate pieces which then i had to take a yarn needle and sew the middle together and that way you can have like one full piece it's very simple to make nothing too complicated but yeah this is the overall look when it's done here's the back side there you go And there is most of the Sailor Scouts. I really want to go ahead and make the outer planets eventually. Not yet though, but I'll get there. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna fit. There you have it, all of these Sailor Scouts. Oh my gosh. 
and tuxedo mask as well. Although Chibi Usa looks really, really tall right there. <laughs> she's supposed to be like the smallest one, but she's the largest one here. If you guys want to know how to create your own anime style hairs, I have links to my hair tutorial pattern in the description box below, along with my other base body patterns. And thank you guys so much if you donate to me on Ko-fi. The donations go towards funding my supplies. And thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. It really helps out with the watch hours. And I'll be back with another video soon. Bye!